Hi, I'm Nate Moore. Welcome to Lesson 26. I want to show you one more trick when you group data in a pivot table. We've talked about grouping dates and grouping text items before. There's a clever way to group numbers in a pivot table we haven't talked about yet, and I'd like you to see it. It's a pretty straightforward thing to do, and what I did is I brought in some new data. What this is is the patient's age at the time of consult. It starts from 18, goes clear down into your 90s, and we just are simply counting the number of patients that we saw in uh, in a E&M visit and then we calculated their age at the time of the E&M visit, simply taking the date of the visit and subtracting their birthday and figuring out how old they were. This is an awful lot of data and there's a simple way to group them in a pivot table that makes it a lot easier to understand. What you can do is you can click on either group selection or group field and it'll come up and say alright I'll group them for you and it automatically knows that my smallest number in the range is 18 and my largest is 98 and it's going to group them by 10. You can do that and that fast it's grouped 50,000 E&M visits into 10 year windows. The thing I don't like about this so much is 18 to 27 is a little bit screwy. It would be a lot easier to have you know, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, something like that. The way to make that work is to come back and we're going to tell Excel, now I'm going to start at 10 and go up to 100 and group by 10. And now I've got 10 to 19, 20 to 29, and I've got age brackets that you're more familiar with that fast. And if you want to come back, either one of those will work and group them with five-year intervals. There you go. I think I prefer 10 for as much data as we have. But that's one more grouping trick you ought to know of. Uh, we've showed how to group dates, how to group text, Here's a uh, powerful way to summarize a whole bunch of numbers. And then as you add more numbers in the range, if you add another 30,000 E&M visits, Excel's going to know this 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, and it'll fill those new E&M visits into your existing groups just fine. An easy way to group numbers in a pivot table. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.